look at that. Some nice calm surf. Got a really low mile an hour north wind coming in right now. And I am super happy to see that. Took a big chance out of my comfort zone. Y'all take it easy on me in them comments down below, y'all. The water is nice and clear. You can't see that right now. The GoPro lens doesn't do much of anything, but it is it's really nice and clear. That right there is the last cast with the shrimp. All right. Let's cast this fella around for a little bit. See what we can do. Try to explain to y'all like what I'm doing. I've walked past the first sandbar and I'm casting into that second gut. Trying to get to the third is gonna be a no-go. All right, that's the last cast right there. It's not gonna happen out here in the surf. I gave it a good go though. So as long as I keep trying, most likely I'll start being able to put some type of a pattern together. I am definitely out of my comfort zone doing this style of fishing right here. It's just, I never, never try this or I don't try it enough to actually be proficient at it. So let's uh, put this thing away and we're gonna head inshore. Uh, at least that's the plan. Let's see what we come up with. Spot number two is no secret whatsoever. Man, more trash out here. Y'all, look at this. Somebody just decides to throw a dang vacuum cleaner out here. Oh my gosh, so ridiculous. We really don't have much tidal movement today. Y'all don't know how bad I wish I had my kayak with me. Last cast right here, y'all. That's it. No bites, no bait, nothing going, coming up to the surface. Decent water movement. As I was retrieving my lure, we had some of the water going from my right hand side to the left. So coming into the marsh system right now. Let's get this garbage out of here. Freaking ridiculous that people would do this. Gosh, dang, dude. What the heck, bro? <sighs> All right, closing my eyes. So I ain't got the time. Next spot. Also another well-known area to come and try your hand. Gosh almighty, dude. It's so shameful that we cannot come fishing without being embarrassed of our state. Look at this. I apologize, y'all. Texas truly is a beautiful state. We just have a select few who just truly don't give a crap about our environment. Okay, last cast. been very slow really not much to speak of at another spot and look what we got here somewhere where we can throw our trash away I'm gonna save this bag because I know I'm gonna come up to some more stuff and uh, this is what's gonna help me out to keep everything from flying out of my truck All right, that's gonna be the last cast right there. We've done fan casted the entire area, especially the extent of this little gut that runs right through here and only three bites. Very strong suspicion that it's gonna be the same fish because it happened in the same exact area. Nothing else since then. We've been out here for a little over an hour and I'm gonna start making my way back. All right, it's not going the way we want it to, but we've got one more spot that we're gonna hit up and I'm gonna stay hopeful that that one is definitely gonna produce. Two o'clock and this is our last spot. Let's see what's gonna happen, y'all.
There's the thump. Oh yeah. Man, I'm telling you what, every time we come here, that's the same fella that we get every time. Same size. There we go. Not bad, y'all. <laughs> we did not get skunked, baby. So many spots. It was in the back of my mind. And I'm like, don't even say it. Like, don't, don't say it at all. We'll just keep fishing. And don't pay no mind to it. Oh my gosh. Got him. Right at the at the drop. At the end of the drop. It was like a 9-1000 count. He hit it as soon as it got down there. These guys are taking forever to make their way out into the gulf. I mean, I don't even know if a flounder that size will even try to attempt to go out there into the gulf. Comment down below if y'all know what's going on with those guys. I really don't know too much about them as far as educational wise. There's a thump again. We may have stumbled onto something, y'all. I'll take these guys all day long over a skunk. Here we are. Okay, that felt like a thump. Yep, that was definitely a thump. Looks like he's got a line in his mouth. If I had my scissors, I would definitely cut that line off for him, but I don't have them with me. Looks like he broke off on someone. There we go. It's good to know that he's still eating, though, with that fishing line in his mouth. Uh-oh, there's a thump. See you later, buddy. Check that out, y'all. Um, the GoPro battery just died, and that is one fabulous looking fish right there. And I caught it right here in the surf. I actually got to see the bite take place, but we're gonna let that big girl go. The GoPro literally just died, to, uh, like within a minute of catching that one right there. Oh, it just burns me. If it would have been a bit smaller, I definitely would have kept it because I wanted to cook me a quick lunch before heading back in. But uh, we'll see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna continue fishing and, and maybe we'll get one that's right there at the like maybe 16 inch mark. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you wanna help to support the content that I'm creating, please click that subscribe button. And for those of y'all that are interested in knowing whenever I drop a new video, don't forget to ring that notification bell icon. Until next time, tight lines y'all.